Hi, and welcome back to Talk of the Town. Jean Magarelli, lactation consultant with the Hilton Head Hospital, joins us today to talk about the benefits of breastfeeding and August being breastfeeding month. Jean, welcome to the show. Glad to have you. Oh, thank you. Welcome to you. So August is known as breastfeeding month. Um, tell us why it's so important for moms to breastfeed. Um, well, mainly because uh, breast milk is considered the best nutrition for babies. And um, how should moms prepare to breastfeed? Are there certain criteria? Um, we offer prenatal breastfeeding classes just to educate moms um, so they're able to make an informed decision as to whether breastfeeding is going to be right for them. Are there certain um, guidelines they should follow prior to breastfeeding? Um, not, not really guidelines, but okay. I think just getting the information um, that they need so that they'll know what to expect when their babies are born. For example, we um, encourage 24-hour rooming in. Uh, we okay. encourage skin to skin, so after babies are born, we put babies um, right on mom's chest, sure. skin to skin, so that they feel that warmth, and um, and then we try to get them um, to breastfeed within that first hour wow. after they're born. Okay. So what are the benefits of, uh, of breastfeeding, not just for the mom, but also for the baby? Well, I think for mom, um, it helps to protect um, women from breast, from breast cancer, from ovarian cancer, osteoporosis, cardiac disease. Um, women get back down to their pre-pregnancy weight pretty quickly because... That's a plus. Right, absolutely. <laughs> um, you, do, you burn more calories mm -hmm. while you're breastfeeding. Um, and for babies, um, my goodness, uh, protects babies from um, childhood diabetes, okay. from leukemias, from lymphomas, um, AIDS and brain development. A lot of really health benefits health, for the baby. A lot of health benefits. Yeah. Um, protects them from childhood obesity. Wow. So lots of good benefits yeah, for babies. Yeah, it's a wonderful start for the babies. Right, and a wonderful bond between both mom and baby. And how should how long should moms um, breastfeed? Time limit? Um, well, the American Academy of Pediatrics uh, recommends they consider it the gold standard. If you breastfeed exclusively for the first six months, then after that, babies usually start to um, eat some solid food. Sure. And then, but then to continue to breastfeed for at least one year. Okay. And um, how soon after birth should moms begin to breastfeed their babies? Within the first half an hour to an hour. Wow. We try to get them on at that yeah. point. They're usually very alert after they're born. Okay. And then they tend to go into a bit of a sleep phase. Mm -hmm. They're recovering from being born. So if you can get that one hour, um, you know, that little window right. of opportunity, um, it's that's great. If not, Babies come into the world fully fed, so yes. it's, you know, we, will, we would just try again a little bit later. Um, I understand you all have a support group, so how do moms join that support group and, and where do you meet? We meet every Thursday afternoon from 2.30 to 4.30 in the boardroom at Hilton Head Hospital. And it's open to any mom, whether she delivers at Hilton Head or not. Um, they can just come, they don't have to register, just bring your baby. Um, I'm always there. We weigh the babies every week. It's a wonderful way to meet other women on the island or off island that have new babies. Right. Um, lots and, of and friendships. Kind of, yeah, I was going to say started. friendships, mm. and and oh, yeah. I think you, you yeah. they start to probably um, have like a little camaraderie going they regarding do. things that maybe um, sharing things that may or may not be going so well. It gives them some place Absolutely. to kind of almost vent or or exactly. just find out if they're doing something wrong or right or you know. It's so great for a brand new mom to come into this group, and we have about fifteen. To 20 moms every week, and um, we, she's brand new, so her baby's a, a maybe a week old or so. Sure. And then she sees other moms with babies that are six weeks old, three months old, and and they kind of hover yeah. around her and yeah. help her, right? And and nurture her, right. and and then she realizes, okay, I, I'm going to get better at this. This yeah. is this is going to work. Yeah. And by doing that, they just build such friendships and. Now, um, we've been doing it for about 12 years. Wow. And I'll see um, 
at, at the soccer field or, yeah. or baseball. Yeah. I have two grandsons, yeah. and I'll go to the field, and I'll see these moms, and they've become fast friends. Yeah. And it's just, it's a wonderful experience. It is a wonderful for, experience. For new people. Thank new you. Thank you, Jean. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, you're very welcome. It's my pleasure. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.